to become a team leader is another skill that you can develop over a career. I think the first time I was ever a team leader, I was the yearbook editor. <laughs> and, and leading teams really is about usually delivering something at the end, and a yearbook is a pretty good example of that. Um, if you don't get it done before graduation, everybody's pretty upset. But you have photographers, and you have writers, and people who do the layout. That was my first team leader role. And I learned very quickly that I could not take photographs, I could not write everything, I could not figure out the schedule and how to put it all together by myself. I needed to work with the people who were doing some of that work and make sure that they were on time. Um, I think being a team leader requires taking a lot of feedback from a lot of different directions and setting the team up to still meet a goal, whether it's delivering a, a yearbook or whether it's figuring out how a drug actually works in a, in a human clinical trial. That's incredibly complex work to do. But it requires team, people who can work with a lot of different people and follow what's going on when and, and getting it done when it needs to get done on budget, something else we can talk about. But team leaders in biotech need to have all those aspects nailed down, working with different people, understanding budgets, understanding timelines. And I'm not talking about science, am I? I'm not talking about something you learned in an engineering textbook. It's something you do, you can uh, build your own skills, you can figure it out with experience, and you don't have to be perfect the first time out. We did get the yearbook out in time, but it was hairy. <laughs> it wasn't all very pretty. And I, I think I learned things then that have made me better team leader over the ages. And I think, um, I think uh, one of the things I'm proud of, the thing I like doing the best, is called alliance management. So I used to um, manage projects across the globe. I had people working with me in England and in China and in America. So those are really rewarding things when you can get things done with teams spread all over. And you just kind of got to practice during your career.